Hello, my friends. Christopher Barrelet with the Barrelet Collection at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. I am here with another great new construction opportunity in beautiful St. Cloud, Florida. Today, July 12th, 2021, we are back at Wiregrass. As I mentioned in a previous video, today I'll be highlighting the available offerings from Hanover Family Builders. Now, don't forget, I've got my coming soon series starting soon, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. My goal with this new series is to show you places that are planned but not have begun construction yet. This will be perfect for all of my early birds out there. Now, when talking about Wiregrass, it's a small community located just a mile off of Narcusi Road, just south of the Osceola County line. We're just about 15 to 20 minute drive to Boxy Park and even less to many of the commerce in Lake Nona. Uh, from the Orlando International Airport, we are just about 25 minutes. There is still plenty of opportunity here with three builders to choose from. Now professionally, I have had great experience with Hanover Family Builders. They are known for their classic style, care for the community, and first class customer service. They are truly family owned and operated and I believe this is what leads to a high standard of care. Hanover Family promises to always deliver exceptional craftsmanship. I enjoy the options they offer that are available to make the floor plan fit your function better as well. For amenities, there's going to be a resort style pool plan and a sports recreational area. The HOA is $90 a month and there is no CDD. And it has, now behind me is the Wilshire. It has a five bedroom, three bath, two car garage and it's under 3,200 square feet. It also has some great options for fourth and fifth bedroom and more bath, second gathering room, either a den or flex, uh, and extended lanai. Currently the starting price at the time of filming is $429,990, that's before all your lot uh, choices and structural changes. Um, the Wilshire has some great elevations for you as well, just do two that they tweak a little bit with a little bit of mix of stone and stucco uh, on, on siding as well, uh, so can't wait to show you that. Let's go ahead and pop on into the Wilshire and let's see what you think of the layout. Upon walking up to the Wilshire, you are greeted with some grand look and style. Um, the elevations that they offer, which I believe this one is a little bit more of a classic style with the kind of mix of stucco and siding. Uh, so they have a couple of different elevations and then they also offer different tweaks to that, whether it be like with stone or uh, the kind of stucco siding mix. So I think it's a great way for you to add some of your own kind of touch uh, to your home and change it up a little bit as far as the others in the neighborhood. But some great style great lines and it likes the peaks uh, uh, peaks on the home as well so let's pop on in and kind of see what the inside layout is I absolutely think it's great uh, for what they have set up and the options uh, available now don't forget actually before we head in I have my apologies because I really should mention um, that your pavers are actually going to be standard here as well so kind of how you see your driveway and your walkway as well you're gonna have that always uh, as a great feature on up to the home which I think is actually perfect in your concrete alone. Uh, so we'll head on in now and taking a look, yes, very nice uh, for the front area. Again, you have that kind of space that's typical in homes, so something where you can put together like this. Um, but I don't know if you saw in my other video, they had a very nice uh, wood installation here in another home that I think is a great idea as well. Uh, now to the right, it's the kind of open flex area. Uh, and that you do have uh, this very great size room that I love the, actually I love the two windows here and the spacing in between them. So it kind of makes the room seem a little bit uh, bigger uh, just in the overall look. I love what they've done on that side as well. They'll kind of offer some decorative shelving, but I think the overall room is size is perfect for whatever you may need to do here. So if you're gonna be looking at doing a den or a front kind of flex playroom living area, you have got that as well. Uh, so perfect for you there and uh, we'll pop on in now and take a look at the open area here. So this is absolutely a phenomenal setup 
Uh, so I think I really enjoy the way the dining is set up here uh, and how it's kind of all areas are offset. But let's go on through. Let's go ahead and do it. I absolutely love this. All right. So dining area is a phenomenal size. It's absolutely huge. You've got the double window on the end there. So it makes it great. As you can see with this large table, you can seat up to eight in this perfectly. So this is a great size kind of dining area. And since it's, you know, just kind of offset, but still a part of the open area, it's something that being in here you don't have to miss any bit of the entertainment that's going on I love this long light fixture that they've chosen here which I think is also great for adding to the grand feel uh, of the room and space uh, so that you you know looking at it you've got a very large dining area the mirrors also help with that as well I think in kind of reflecting the large space in the room kitchen is a phenomenal setup now the island is very large um, they've got four settings here and they've got four chairs. If you went a little bit smaller, maybe you could fit about five in there, I think. It's very possible. Uh, so I love the size of this island. Um, and I love what they've done here on the countertop. If you look a little bit close, you can kind of see that bevel option that they've done there. So just kind of letting you know, um, this is maybe an upper level as well. Looks like it could be a granite, but it might be an upper level uh, marble countertop. But they are definitely showing you some of the upper level cabinetry and hardware as well. Um, showing the farmer sink, so if you like that style as well, they're going to have those options available for you. So that is a very, very nice setup. Um, again, love the sink and dishwasher right out on the island and kind of spreading out that kitchen function. So uh, very nice. The backsplash is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so just giving you an idea and showing what you can do for your kitchen. Now right in here, we'll pop in and let you know about the pantry and about the size of that. So not exactly full walk-in, but good room for depending on what you need. I think there's plenty of cabinetry and cabinet space uh, in the kitchen area that you should be just fine with what you have in the pantry as well. So it's absolutely perfect setup in addition to this open layout. So just off the kitchen, you have your gathering room. Uh, again, I think a great size, and this reminds me of some other plans that we've been in, especially with this window back here, kind of the size of it and the way it looks out onto the patio, um, having the kind of, now this has got even enough room for this seating area here back here, just to show you how big it is, uh, uh, kind of next to uh, the gathering area as well. So it's a great size overall, depending on this, you know, type of couch, full hook around couch that you want to do here, something like that, it's going to have that room for you as well. They've got a small little nook here. Um, could be some kind of key drop or something to where you keep common papers as this door is the door here out into the garage. So, so this is a perfect area for anything that you might wanna do, uh, maybe key drop, mail drop, or where you can leave for folks that are coming into the home. Uh, so let's go ahead and head on in down to the bedroom in the back here. They've got a little bedroom and a bathroom that's available. Now it's got the option, uh, there's a little bit of closet here, linen closet as well, um, but you do have the option of doing a out to the pool kind of doorway. Uh, and so what they'll do is kind of change up how they do the bathroom here and it would be right next to the bathroom particularly. So it would be kind of like a great cabana bathroom and doorway if you're looking to do and have a pool out there as well. Um, but this is just another uh, guest bathroom here. It's available. Showers, great work, great tile work there. And again, showing you all of the great options that you can do with the different tiling and cabinetry and countertops throughout the home. All right, so on into this bedroom here. Very nice, beautiful guest bedroom. Oh, and like, you know, it doesn't have the bathroom inside, so it's not exactly like a suite room, but the way it's kind of set up in the back here and this corner, I think is absolutely perfect. Uh, there's a closet and you get the closet size there for you so you can see. So um, yeah, just your typical with, you know, the doors instead of the accordion. Um, but I think the size of the room overall is very good and good light with the window that it has. And then that bathroom will be available and perfect uh, for that person to head on into. Um, and then also serve as a pool bathroom if you do that and change up that there. 
Uh, so we'll head on out to the patio so we can let you know how that is. Now, this is gonna be um, standard with the cover of the nine. So the area that you see here, um, kind of under this spot, is the uh, cover lanai area that's included. They've gone ahead and went and added uh, some added kind of patio and uh, outdoor furniture, just to give you an idea of what you can do here um, and how much room you can have on the typical lot. Uh, you can put a pool definitely. You could put this without a pool, so it's just it's not like you know this is a, more of a fire pit kind of entertainment style setup. So you have that as an option, but that's always something you can do afterwards. But your covered area here. Um, is going to be your standard area so you may depending screen that in uh, or add more you know screen that in after that so all right let's head on in now and we have the rest to show you which is going to be upstairs in this home so please make sure to stay up to date with us that you subscribe for everything real estate uh, in Central Florida area. We're gonna be looking at new construction and more. All right, so heading on up, I think it is a very, very nice setup. Now to my right is gonna be the primary bedroom. We'll go ahead and save that one for last. We are right in front of the laundry room up the stairs. Uh, so a good size, uh, mainly just for the machines. You got the cabinetry that's gonna could go up right here if you'd like. Uh, that'll give you some added. But you do have the space that's back here as well. Uh, so a very nice ability to put some cabinetry workstation, which is just very very nice to have the added room in the laundry. All right, heading on out into the open area. Now, this has got a couple of ways you can do this, which is very, very nice. Now, you've got the kind of open uh, loft area, and I think probably sectioned off by this little wall here that kind of give you that idea so that that's the kind of your loft area that you have. And then they kind of define this as a second gathering room. So kind of how they set that up with the couch and the TV for the entertaining. It could be a little bit more of a kid area gaming area so the option that they have available for you on this is that you can actually turn this into an added bedroom and bathroom here so you can make this uh your kind of fifth bedroom uh and that they would have uh the bathroom that would also be added in here so you can add another bathroom another full bathroom into the home and then you would still have this gathering area here so i just think it's an absolutely phenomenal option to have you can have it as open and inviting and you know great for entertainment as you want or if you have the need for the added bedroom you're going to have that here all right so let's head on into our other bedrooms now we've got again still plenty i think even without the option of the added but of course if you need it that's what it's there for uh, so you've got a uh, bathroom here that's going to serve the rooms uh, oh, actually let me make sure to let you know about our uh, ac unit that's going to be right in here uh, so any maintenance and servicing of this unit, you're going to go ahead and do that right here. And then you've got, yes, your bathrooms that are going to be uh, for those two rooms. So your double sinks that you've got there and the cabinetry will let you know. And then in your shower top, great, great, great work. They did the tile up to the ceiling here. Uh, so that may be a very uh, good option that's available for you if you like that style and kind of that. Um, you've got a closet here, uh, so a great linen closet for storage. This is a nice large bathroom and I love the way that they've separated this section and the sink section with the door uh, so that you can get multi-usage out of the bathroom. So heading on into another bedroom. This is yeah, a little bit bigger, definitely, uh, than some of the ones than some of the other rooms we've seen in some different homes. I think as far as the size, this has got availability for the bed, the desk there, uh, right next to the closet. So it's just a little bit bigger, very nice room. And the windows offer some great uh, natural light as well. So just pop on in and show you that closet. Again, so you can see the size of that. And then heading on in. This bedroom again, 
it's probably the more the typical size that you look and see. Um, good light with a good window. So you, again, you have plenty of bedrooms around, uh, but if you do need that added one, you have the option, but there's actually still three of these bedrooms plus the one downstairs, so that's four, and you can add in that fit. Oh, wow, yes, very good size on this one. This one, again, um, I think as a setup in the back area here is very nice. Uh, good size closet and great light throughout and just a little bit of extra room uh, from some of the typical rooms that you see. I just think with, you know, the way you can see both of the nightstands on either side of the bed, uh, as well as the added furniture kind of chair here kind of helps to illustrate how a little bigger the room is overall. All right, so let's head on into the primary. Let's see, we've got a closet here though. This is going to be another added linen closet, all right, nice and larger, because again, three rooms here, so depending, uh, blankets, towels, everything going to be needed. All right, so let's head on into the primary, which I think is a phenomenal setup. Uh, this has got a, another closet, hall closet here for you, for some added storage. Very grand looking size, yes, 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 very nice. Uh, so starting with the windows on the side. Now again, these windows are part of the front of the home, so they're part of the curb appeal. I know they often want to have a very, very nice grand look, um, but I like being able to do that, especially uh, in my home, coming and kind of standing and looking over this very large window is such a great view. Uh, so depending on where your home is, very nice setup. All right, so like we come in there, great room overall for the bed, furniture, there's enough for an added kind of seating area as you see here. Uh, so just great, great space overall. Great space. All right, now let's pop on into the primary bath. They've got a very nice setup as you see it. Uh, I think it's absolutely great. Uh, you got that shower, okay? Uh, now again, and keeping in mind with the Hanover family home, it's actually gonna be a standard uh, shower type where you have the two heads and both the regular and you have the kind of rain shower head. And just with the control here, you're actually able to control those. Um, not only that, control where the water comes from, control the temperature as well. Uh, so you can just kind of hit that and then that come out of the rain there. And you can even get both. Uh, if it will serve you well. So I love that. And again, the temperature control is absolutely amazing. So something that you're gonna see standard uh, here on the uh, Hanover Family Homes. Uh, now they do have an option in this um, that's available for you. So if you would like uh, the master tub, they uh, do have the option where they can kind of squeeze that in here. Um, it's gonna set up the bathroom just a little bit different. I think and kind of shift the uh, uh, sinks over a little bit, they, but they do offer the option of the master uh, garden tub as well, that it would just be put kind of right here next to the shower. So um, then you have your two sinks. And again, showing you that bevel, which is my, probably a very, very nice option. If you like that on the cabinet style, I really do enjoy that. Uh, and then again, the upper little cabinetry that you've seen around the home. Uh, the closet is absolutely gorgeous and large. Uh, so I think depending, you know, if you're going to do something with custom, that's when this is closet is really going to shine because it's going to just get all of this space used and have a different organized section. So it's a very, very large walk-in primary. All right, and then great to have your commode area separated by that door. Always a great feature to have. All right, my friends, that was the Wilshire. I really hope that you enjoyed this plan. I definitely did. Some of my favorite parts here are the curb appeal. Absolutely love the lines and look of the outside of the home as well as some of the options on the elevation. I also absolutely adored upstairs. The loft kind of game room area is a phenomenal size. It's got a great second uh, gathering area, gathering room, but if you want to turn that into a bedroom, I think it's just another great option that you can have uh, on the home. So they're all just great features to have. So any more information on the Wilshire, uh, anything else with Hanover Family Builders in the neighborhood, please make sure to give me a call at 407-325-4904. You can search homes directly at jointhecollection.com. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, I invite you to join the collection.